Hi, it's Karen Graham from MAP. In part one of Innovation at Work, we talked about what everyday tech innovation looks like in nonprofits. Now let's move on to how you can open the doors to innovation in your own organization, starting at the point of connecting needs and technology. There are lots of ways to come up with ideas. You're probably familiar with basic brainstorming, go for quantity, not quality, and don't worry about speed. You will usually generate more and better ideas if you allow people to first brainstorm individually on paper, especially if there are introverts on your team. Blue Ocean and design thinking are valuable message, methods that I won't take time to cover here, but you can explore them in depth on your own. Innovation cohorts are a MAP program that brings peers together with a consultant to work through technology innovation together over a period of several months. Based on our work with dozens of organizations and research on best practices, these are MAP's best tips for inviting innovation. Understand the complexity of the problem, learn and be curious, reflect and experiment, and work together. To effect change, you need to win support. While funding for basic IT infrastructure can be hard to come by, there is increased interest in funding technology projects with the potential to improve nonprofit services. With funders and the board, frame your idea in terms of mission impact and return on investment. Having someone to cheer you on and provide feedback on your ideas is valuable, as is dedicating time and resources to work on innovation. The IT Department of Community Action Partnership of Ramsey and Washington Counties had some great ideas, but in order for technology to transform the organization, they needed everyone from top to bottom to be working together and to ensure close alignment between technology initiatives and the strategic plan. They worked with MAP to form a cross-functional technology committee, survey staff, facilitate executive team discussions, and develop a multi-year work plan. Their plan includes milestones for tech tools as well as organizational culture. And I'll leave you with one more example. The Vajrapani Institute runs a Buddhist retreat center. Participants are enthusiastic about meditation in the days after attending a retreat, but their practice often deteriorates soon afterward. Through a pro bono project, the Institute developed and piloted a mobile app with guided meditations and a social component allowing users to compare their meditation minutes to the average. It was extremely successful and the organization is now exploring further development of the app for release nationwide. The folks who run the Vajrapani Institute don't consider themselves tech savvy, but they were able to harness the guidance and support of their network to make this happen. And you can too. Thanks for viewing this presentation. To learn more about MAPS consulting work on technology and innovation, and our other consulting and leadership development work, please get in touch with us at mapfornonprofits.org.